Welcome, everybody. Welcome to episode five of Outside Your Bubble. You made it five episodes. It's it's a bit weird because we're at this point where we're closer to the end of season one. Oh, no. We've crested we the hill. And also, I, I was really upset. It's I all found out that I, I won't be at the finale, which is really sad. Uh, no, that was timed. Oh. Very Eric, sad, Eric right? just timed it out. Well, if you are joining us through one of those social media links, be sure to subscribe to the entertainment channel because once we leave this channel, there's some cool stuff coming to replace us. Yeah. Yeah. I would Very just like, subscribe, things. comment, do all those things. It's yeah. the same show, but with George Clooney and yeah. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Mel Gibbs. And Mel Gibbs. Well, we get you to assume who's who. Your pick. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Mel. <laughs> Thank you for joining in to all our Wigs members. Yay. Wigs. Wigs are WDWNT Interglobe Society, the coolest society on the planet. Of all the societies. <laughs> on we we. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. I am from the Wigs Society. Well, Welcome, Wix members. If you don't know what a Wix member is, go to wnt.com slash forward, backwards, on the side, on his hat. One of the Maybe slashes. on his back. No! It is patreon.com backslash wnt. <laughs> wnt.com forward slash patreon or patreon.com forward slash wnt. Or backslash. Or it's not, slash, it's not just, a guitar, just, it's just slash. To or these... just have slash play. No, oh. just just talk to all these lovely Wigs members in the chat and ask how they became a member. Fair enough. Of the Wigs community. They had a contest. Yeah, we lost. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have a contest. Well, we, we had a contest last week. Yeah, so we did. Won, we so did. the end of the episode, you can have some brewery swag. Yeah, I'm we do have the giveaway winners. Ready to go for this week, but we have another power-packed episode of Outside the Bubble. So this week, we we kind of missed being inside the bubble. We wanted to go to all the World Showcase countries, and of oh. course, we we've been planning this show like for over the past years. So at some point, we wanted to go to all the countries. My and flight then, was. Is a problem, and then yes. Pete had some issues. Let's just say. Let's just well, say they won't fly me first class. No. Also, Pete was not allowed in several no, countries. We were not allowed in <laughs> COVID. You were just on a list. Yeah. And well, not the list you want to be on. I'm sorry. Also, but anyway, let's also, here's here's the here. Arrow Hitch doesn't fly tomorrow. No, but also we had an idea. Let's let's take the world showcase countries, and if you had to do them outside of the bubble, outside of Disney. Where would you go? What would you do? And I think that's a great concept because there's a lot to see outside of Disney World. Very international city, Orlando. Yes. So we, the three of us, got one pick of our favorite pavilion to go to. Eric, you were up first. That's that's true. Where did he bring us? Let's see. Eric, you yes, brought sir. us to our first pavilion. We are of here. Good day. Good day. No, that's Australia, isn't it? Um, hello? We are in oh, the... Cheers, uh, mate. Cheers, mate. Put another shrimp on the bobby. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> We're here in the United Kingdom, mate. Um, not, not too far from Disney. No, place. we are really close to Disney. In fact, um, at the stoplight, you can see the Animal Kingdom Lodge because they've bulldozed everything in between yes. there and there. So uh, we're very close. Uh, here, United Kingdom, that is authentic... Uh, it's replica. A, like, Look at big that. Big Ben. Big Ben. Giants. So uh, let's check it out. Let me show you guys around. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it, mate. Just so you know, um, I have 1236. They're like 1237, 1238. Um, British, not known for the punctuality. Their time's a little off. It's more like medium. It's bed. like really, they're, yeah. But it's not really big bag. Yeah, well, it's not that big, but it's like. But Pete isn't known for his punctuality either. Pete so and punctuality what? go together. Be punctual Pete. Yeah, this will be the place for you, Pete. This is where I go like this. This is. Yeah. You're almost there, Pete. Yes, <laughs> there you are. Yes. <laughs> Doing tourist stuff. Yay. <laughs> 
nice vibe down here. And now you have uh, Pete. Is this the lady? You know, you know her. She's the owner. She's, she's the owner. I believe yes. Yeah, she owns this establishment. Uh, yeah, she, she, you she can tell she stopped by Epcot. Got some accessories. It's actually uh, Albert, Alberta Falls. Oh, yes. <laughs> you can see the, uh, some of her exes right there on her. Seated underneath the queen. Yes. There's also a British flag on there. I know. There's also Brett. Are you our Fort Man now in the show? <laughs> As of now, we know the designated driver when we do shows like this. Uh, that Thank you, Brett. Here? Surprise. The flag is cool, though. That's nicely done. Are you? It's a cell phone booth, but I have a friend with me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can fit two people in here. Oh, okay, hold on, wait. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Right. It's a cell phone booth. I like this too. That's neat. Did you know that being British is about driving a German car to an Irish pub for a Belgian beer, grabbing an Indian curry or a, Tur or a Turkish kebab, on the way to sit on Swedish furniture and watch American shows on a Japanese TV. That's being British, baby. I agree with that. Look at that. This is awesome. Wallpaper. Wow. No one's colored it in yet. I'm going to ask for crayons. This is more British than the actual... <laughs> no, than, than the actual World Showcase Pavilion. Yes, nice. They got the Union Jack above the bar. Yeah, I saw that. This, that's awesome. But uh, will the food and the beer be as good? I hope so. Eric, your place is great. Yeah, it's cool. I saw Superman went into a phone booth and Pete came out of it. So I don't know what's going on. Put your glasses back on. <laughs> um, Pete, I didn't know Harry Styles was from the UK. Yes, he also wears a Beatles button uh, to remember where he got his musical inspiration. Eric, so we couldn't travel the world, but the beer can't travel the world because they don't have their, right. their London beer. We can't do all of it, which is a shame. But so, yeah, we'll do Guinness. So we went for Irish. Uh, Pete, you went for? Water. Pete's, Pete's on the wagon, apparently. You know, guys, there's this misconception that I'm always drinking. He's like, I just got out of the car. I stopped drinking. Like <laughs> yeah. Eric, stop crying. You, you won't lose this time. Well, how do lose every time. How did you find this place? So, I just happen to know a lot of like famous British actors come here, like uh, Nicole Kidman and um, Hugh Jackman. Uh, <laughs> even like Greg Norman, the golfer, hangs out here. I heard about it from a friend of the golf course. and. I was like, what's the most authentically British place you can find? Mel Gibson. He was here, I, I think he was here earlier. Uh, Heath Ledger, maybe. Yeah. You see they have a lot of famous... Um, Steve Irwin Spice, before, Spice before Girls. he perished. Uh, it's uh, Baby Spice. Uh, Sporty Spice. Eric, you're, you're joking about your own place. You're going to lose. I think the place speaks for itself. It is a cool this place. This is very authentic. It has... Union Jack everywhere you look. You've got English music. There's a, there's a there's telephone a, booth without a telephone. There's a neon sign with a Union Jack and a lion's head sticking out of it. There's, there's a local dishes. Yeah. Like um, mac and cheese. Yeah. If there's not a real lion here, I'm going to be disappointed. Look, if this is cask and lion. It, to be truly authentic, the food must be very bland. So, yeah. fingers crossed. Knock on wood. We'll you know what? We'll just get rid of the salt and pepper now. Yeah. <laughs> That's Thank like a you. full fish carcass. <laughs> no, you were right. It was Woods. It was Tiger in okay. it was Tiger in 02, and then it was Lucas Glover in 09. Okay. So I got them right. Ooh. So, Eric, you got your uh, whole fish and fries. <laughs> yeah. 
Arthur Treacher's, baby. <laughs> this this already seems better than, than Disney. I, I guess the I guess we'll find out. Look at the size of that. You know, um, this is um, this is I'm paying homage to my father and his upbringing. This is a a meal for peasants, a shepherd's pie, working out in the field during the day. You know, a, some a deconstructed shepherd's pie. Yeah, you got your 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 mash up top. You got a, all your jazz underneath, some Brussels, and of course you got a carbo load to get back out in the field. Eric, your first bite. Not bad. We did say first bite, not one bite. That's uh, copyrighted. <laughs> Good. Go. Great. Brett, what, what did you uh, go Some for? Some kind of beef stew. It looks the good. With stew. like uh, rice and, a, and an egg. And a poached egg. A poached egg. That's yeah. very British. Very British. Very yeah. British. And the rice as well. Yes. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> and I had the same thing as Eric. Just here in the restroom, Axel. But don't worry, I won't look down. Oh, hi, Axel. Hello. All right, Eric, we're done here. Yes, my choice was the United Kingdom. Uh, love the place. Um, if you can't do it at Epcot, uh, actually at Epcot they don't even have a, a big landmark, right? It's just kind of like, just kind of looks like that's substantial mm -hmm. too. So here, yeah, I mean this is like the Moroccan, Moroccan chimney. Yeah. Thing works. <laughs> Wait it for works. it. What are we waiting for? Yeah. Ah, one more. There we go. Enough. All right. That's how it's done. That That's was the last bow. Um, <laughs> so uh, next country. Viva Mexico! All right, let's do it. <clears throat> My fingers of the pants are very good. <laughs> I wash your hands. I give my camera to Pete for two minutes. We're like, hey, did you film the restroom? Be like, sure. You I can go. Surprise what Pete can do in two minutes. Absolutely. Eric, UK. Eric, UK. What do you think about your pavilion, my friend? That was. I thought. It was I think nice. Yeomans is a lovely spot. Great location. I, I have to say. The giant fish and chips thing is a little weird. It is right? gigantic. I don't really want to eat fish that's shaped like a fish. Like, I'd rather eat like in little chunks. Let me just forget. Like fish sticks. Like, yeah, like <laughs> not fish sticks, but you know, just like you know, authentic, like Disney. Jim Gaffigan has a great <laughs> bit, and uh, I'll I'll go support stand up artist where he goes. Nothing good comes from fish. Where it's like, like no one ever says like something good from fish is like this is a fishy situation or. A, Smells like fish. Yeah. Or this could be fishy. Fish always means bad. No, it was, uh, it, no, it, 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 it was good. Fish. It, it was, it was yeah. well. But it was, it actually was, uh, your fish was prepared beautifully. It was on a bed. You guys had four the largest fries. piece of fish I've ever seen. Yeah, that was pretty big. It was insane. There's one bigger that Eric saw. The shark in universe. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah <laughs> the shark in universal. Jesus. <laughs> but it was. Honestly, old jokes are guess. <laughs> landmark, boom, Big Ben. They got the landmark. They should have a Big Ben. In. You yeah. have the inside. You have a. Listen, nice I love this place. Uh, everyone knows. Uh, shout outs, phenomenal Brandy and Armandito, friends of the show. Uh, had lunch with them there this week. Uh, I love it there. I invite people there. I think it's a great spot. They have a great menu and there's a great atmosphere even inside yeah. and outside. 
cool looking spot. Yeah, I like it. It gets extra points for I would the, say for Big Ben. This is worth a visit. Yeah, check it out. It's, it's worth uh, a for the picture. Sunset Walk is where it's an area called Sunset Walk, right up 192 near 429. Um, very near Disney property, uh, especially uh, close to Animal Kingdom. So. 192, just a few steps away from the Giant Wizard. Which, by the way, they repainted. They really yeah, did. The giant wizard. They did. He you looks so amazing. Made, you all made that episode so popular that they said, like, we need, we need to clean up. We're going to see more people. If you ask me, they saw more people. We, we did it. We you know, know, we have some fans it's out there. It's called the OTV bump. No, I was going to say the OTV bump. Business yeah. went up. OTV bump, but also we have fans. Uh, some of you know him, but Tim Tracker watches our show. He went there after us. He did an episode. We did it. He did it. And then they said, we got to repaint. His budget was like, you have an hour and $50,000 to buy something at the gift shop. We were like 10 minutes, $10. Anyway. No, I, I saw his episode. He was disappointed. They didn't have a Gucci shirt. <laughs> so they were like, ah. Oh, you should have went to the mermaid they store. Yes. Had the mermaid. Uh, they, they did have some. Uh, we have Gucci in the mermaid store. Yes. We can do whatever we like there. Yes. Episode one, go back and watch it. You don't know what we're talking yeah. about. So, talking about being around 92 and Sunset Walk, Pete, you were up next? Yes. What? So, uh, I was actually a little upset because I love uh, Eric's pick. I really do like the British place. I thought it was fantastic. It was first. Yeah, I, and I I have brought Wigs members there. Uh, shout out to Phenomenal Brandy and Armadillo. But how, uh, how much are they paying you to shout them out twice? I'm just saying. Uh, I they, shouted out Rob for Deep in the Plus. Got five bucks. That yeah, was it. Well, I uh, you know the wrong demographic, but I have amazing, amazing people out there. But listen, uh, right across the by way. By the way, I low key did a moonshine deal with Phenomenal Brandy, in the and I never room. got to taste <laughs> any of it. So thanks, Phenomenal Brandy. Oh no, you was at our barbecue yes. on Monday. You maybe don't remember. No, you left at no, 8 p.m. I don't. Well, no, I left at 9 p.m. and you guys were giving it all away before that. But anyway, it's sure. fine. We have a super chat. I'm gonna I'm gonna shout it oh, out. Right. Thank you so much to Tim Marmon. Please don't tell us you went to Italy at Cece's Pizza. No, we did not. Don't worry. Um, Episode thank two. You. Thank yeah. you. Thank <laughs> you so much. Thank if you, you so much. Want, for super we'll chat. send you some coupons for Cece's. Yeah, no, <laughs> we did not. But uh, a great a great time we had. Uh, I decided to take it somewhere special. Now, everyone thinks we went to the UK. Mexico was my pick, but I, at the last minute, at the last minute, I had a curveball. Let me, let me just show you. Pete, we're like two minutes away from the UK place. Where are you taking? You, you wanted to go to Mexico. Yes. Well, there's a fantastic. Mexican restaurant right here on Sunset Walk as well. El Jefe Tequilas. Here he is right here, the boss himself. El Jefe. Look at his smile. You can barely see it through the mustache, but he's happy that we're here. Let me just check something. Hold on. Where's you know, where's I feel like, going? I don't know, but I feel like if this were Disney, it would be getting changed. <laughs> this this <laughs> would not now. That would be changed. Absolutely. Uh, what is Pete? Where does he, where did he right. go? Change of plans. You know what? I have a better idea. We're doing, you know, countries around the world showcase. And it was nice that you, you did a place, you know, everyone knows the UK around the world showcase. And Mexico would be really cool. And this is a great Mexican restaurant, but I want to change things up. Festivals are my favorite time of the year at Epcot. So I Which have, is pretty much all year. Yeah, I mean, they take all this <laughs> off. <laughs> But I have a little bit of a curveball and a little bit of a surprise. I'm gonna need you guys to trust me on this. Uh, uh, follow me. Uh, Eric, last time he said that we spent 45 minutes in a car on our way to the airport. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little hurt. Guys, have I ever let you down before? Um, Multiple times. Remember that time that you didn't show up to news tonight? Yeah, besides all those times. <laughs> remember that time that you streamed in portrait mode? Yeah, besides those times. <laughs> Remember the time I offended a knight? <laughs> Remember the time a knight told you to shut up? Uh, all right, besides what? all those times. Remember the time I bet a guy $500 that I knew somebody who had webbed feet and then you didn't show up? <laughs> but but Eric, I do have webbed feet. What are our options? 
Guys, uh, come on, this is exciting. What else are we doing? It's all a beautiful right, wait, day. Wait, wait, is it nearby at least? It is very close. All right, let's go nearby. A few moments later. Pete, where did you bring us? All right, listen. So during the festivals, there's a booth. Um, I believe it's Flavors of the Island or Islands of the Caribbean. Something with island food, and I love it. It's one of my favorite booths. So I figured, let's get a taste of the islands here in Orlando. So we are here at Margaritaville, outside of Sunset Walk. And uh, I think we're gonna go check out the Salty Rim Bar and Grill. And we got beautiful scenery. Uh, cool I bumped drinks. into my girlfriend. You bumped into your girlfriend. I mean, sh she's probably pretty surprised to see you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, Salty Rim. So there's there's not a restaurant, it's, it's a bar? It's a bar and grill. You can order food. But I mean, what better scenery than this? You got a beautiful beach, sand between your toes. I mean, this is well, gorgeous. We're unless in the you islands. have webbed feet. Well, most of your toes. <laughs> 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 the feet show up again. All right, let's go get some cold drinks. Let's do it. So Pete, uh, uh, plan for the day. Seven o'clock. This is the place. Uh, yeah. Are you surprised that I've taken you to a little Probably slice not. of paradise here in Orlando? And time. there is food. But, as well uh, as be beverages. You can do a bucket. Thank you so much for choosing Margarita. Maybe I'll get a bucket. As your choice destination for your family vacation. It won't go away. <laughs> with us. And uh, yeah, we'll be back in a little bit. We'll take Pete's uh, expensify card. It's okay. Our next so, Eric, uh, cheers. 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 Is in cheers. Red cheers. Red cheers, everyone. Cheers. Gumbo Wait, 46. Gumbo. Oh, you guys don't order anything? No, it's the share piece. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, come on. So, um, Pete, I think everybody's allowed to know that you cheated. How did I cheat? This is a without Brett, we wouldn't be here. He's we wouldn't be here. Guys, I've so, said this many times before. It's not what you know, it's who you know. And since Brett and I have been longtime friends, cheers. cheers. Longtime friends. Longtime friends. <laughs> longtime friends. <laughs> I introduced him to Eric way back when. No, so there's also a bingo. Yes. Pete, where's your cart? I've memorized it uh, completely, so I know every number in my head. Eric, are you playing a bingo? No. <laughs> I always lose. We found some extra margarita glasses. Look, what a, what a waste of glasses. They're not full. It's all of Pete's empties. Yeah. <laughs> I rented so, out a cabana. It's not close to the pool, but it's a cabana. It's beautiful. Also, you can tell Shaq was here. He left one of his flip flops in the lobby. <laughs> Yeah, we're rental. Alright Pete, you had a, a chance to convince us of uh, doing World Showcase. This, this wasn't... Islands of the this Caribbean. Is this cheating, wasn't Mexico. But I, I, this is good cheating now, right? The place is great, <laughs> but World Showcase, Eric... Oh, like, Islands of the Caribbean! Even even for me, like Eric, that was like... I'm, I'm good at cheating, but this was just like... Outside the bubble, like, che cheating is a tradition on outside the bubble, so... <laughs> can we, can I, we agree that Pete just took an excuse to... That Pete took an excuse to just go drink margaritas? Can we just yes. accept that? Listen, I am trying to bring the, the viewers fantastic experiences outside of the Walt Disney World bubble, and I don't think this qualifies... This is... Perfect. This is where you want to go when you're outside the bubble. A little taste of the islands. It, it's pure beauty. So I think this is a fair choice, and it is a yeah. festival booth. Uh, a couple things. Number one, um, we also cheated because we used a member, our friend, good friend Brett. He owns a home here, um, so you can't just. Don't just come to Margarita. There Bell. are ways swim. around that. If you're Pete, yeah, but you know, generally speaking, you got to book a room here or something. So I don't want to. Um, look, I was in a good vibe with the Margarita and stuff, but now it's my country. Well, not my own country because Belgium doesn't have. We are just called waffles in Epcot. <laughs> but 
my favorite Epcot was an all time favorite. And I found a place. Equatorial a bit, Africa. A bit further outside the bubble, so we'll have a bit of a drive, but not as bad as Alexis. Is that our Brewery. helicopter arriving now to take us? It is, <laughs> absolutely. Are we ready to take a trip, boys? Let's go, I can't wait. Let's go. Wow. Wow. <clears throat> It brings back yeah. a lot of memories. And a lot of great memories. That's uh, how much fun do we have? Do you guys, I, so what? Margaritaville is not a Caribbean island nation. It's like the Florida Keys. Uh, is that uh, a booth at Epcot? Yes, it is. Uh, so let's just be clear: is that there is an Islands of the Caribbean booth, and there's also an island booth. There's flavors of the islands. There are so many booths at every festival that this qualifies. So it, all I'm saying is. We have another one coming up, but we have to appreciate what I brought to the table here. Is that I've elevated the competition. Um, can we just shout out to Brett who drove us because we last week was drinking outside. Well, if you haven't seen that episode, go and check it out. Episode four. I have this feeling that every episode there's more and more drinking, although the episode is not called. We should probably we should probably outside take outside the bubble. But yeah, honestly, you guys, week, I think you guys might have a problem. Um but honestly, like Brett, Brett was there, and and he drove us around. The exceptional driver as he is, and just because he's a member, you abused that. Not true. Which I was going in on my own. It just worked out. He was there. I was going to take you guys there regardless. And I'll tell you the hint: you walk in the front door, but he took us in the back door, and it was great. Okay, it was okay. So. It was fun. It is a different atmosphere. But there we were doing... very small bathing suits there on all types of people. Men Correct. or women. Yes. Just to make that very clear. I wish I ordered my bathing suit a size smaller, but I messed up. But we can all agree, and, and let's see in the chat, this was not a pavilion. No, no this, it's this a, pavilion. Not a pavilion. Guys, I think before you even go that far, I'm pretty sure we all know I'm in the lead. That looks amazing. Everyone wants to vacation at my. It pick. is awesome. It is. It's awesome. amazing. I, but there's still one left before you even judge. Yes, but I do. I do like the chat that people are trying to guess what the last pavilion is. We're gonna be. I like Christopher Chinese buffet. I I love it. Wait, wait, wait. Thank you. It, By the way, Don says that we love you, Pete. Thank you, Don. It, it also needs to be said that. Really, Margaritaville and Sunset Walk, anything at Sunset Walk, could be considered a Chinese pavilion because all of that land used to be Splendid China, which was owned by officials of the Chinese government. So that was a very authentic Chinese experience. You treated us too, Pete. Thank um, you very much. Pete, didn't we say Eric should not mention the Chinese? We did say that. We have to cut that yeah, out. We're now, we're, we're we'll do it in post. Uh, this is a live show, Eric. Oh, we got a super chat. There we go. Will you will you do the honor for the super Pete, chat? Shut up! It's not a pavilion. Well, anyway, we're going to thank you. Thank you. How about uh, how about you read the Pickwood Project right after it? Did you pay him? No, I did not. No, it was not a super chat. Pete no, equals no. the man. Woo! He's no. got your super chat cover. W two dollars. No, but anyway, um, thank you for the super chat um, from Dr. Mickey. But also, thanks for all you guys who are watching. We do have one more stop. Um, before we go. I did pick. I thought I would expand the bubble a little bit. So I will say before we go to the last one, which is legitimate, is I wanted to just, I don't know, show a little bit of Orlando that might not be shown. I think it's a really cool place. But if we're going to keep it to strictly pavilions, there was one place that is – very much a pavilion. Yes. Before we go to the next video, if you haven't liked already, be sure to smash that like button. It helps us grow up in the ranks of YouTube. More people to find us. Um, because we if you're want... tired, just tap it. Tap yeah, it you don't have to smash, smash it. it. Just tap it. You yeah. can lick it. Whatever you want. As long smack as it up. Flick it. it. Do it. Do it. Do it. But we do have a third it. stop. And this... I mean, granted, it's not my stop. I hope you vote for me, but this is one of my favorite stops we made. Uh, we did. So we knew it was a bit further outside the bubble. So we asked our ladies to come and help us because 
Help was needed. And we yeah. have to thank the good people at Lufthansa for the uh, transportation. Yes, thank Check you. It out. So we made it downtown Sanford, where we are ready to go to the Willow Tree, which is a German restaurant. And as some of you know, I, I've lived in Germany for a year or so. Yeah. Can't wait, can't wait. This is gonna be fun. See some, uh, oh yeah. They do like the German beer as shirts. Even the, the outfit is like, yeah. Yes, the place. We have a beer garden upstairs. Oh, we have a beer garden. Upstairs. Right uh, here, there's a... Oh, wow, look at this, look at this. And a band, wow. I didn't expect this. Outside is beautiful. Wow. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We're off to be seated. Oh, look at this. Yes. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, so 
And here's the food. Pete. Wow. Oh, yeah. Pete got like the... Believe me, if I was too... This is a uh, A plate. Oh, it's so American. I am going to taste that. That looks good. That does look like What did you get? Pete, you took the right thing. Wow. What is it? Prost! Oh, and it's a Jäger Schnitzel? Jäger Schnitzel. I don't know what he got. What did you get, Axel? The Schnitzel. Your Jäger Schnitzel with uh, Pommes, I see. The Spätzle. And Spätzle with... Uh, Guten Appetit. Guten Appetit. Guten Appetit. I'm so good, thank you. Look at this. Look at my Schnitzel with Käse Spätzle and uh, Kartoffel Salat. Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza. A Pizza. A Pizza. Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza. I, I've never been. <laughs> I'm sure you do not remember, but we have photographic <laughs> evidence. Um, Marge so was amazing. 86 Marge years old. was amazing. If you want to see more of that German footage that we cut out, because that wasn't all, there is a Wix post show tonight <coughs> with more behind the scenes, all filmed in landscape, of course. Yes, glorious. Or time. you could just, you know, just say you're having a good time tonight. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, so we did. We explored many territories. Uh, let's just talk about it, right? Let's go in reverse. You took us to an amazing German. I think we did, it deserves more of a debrief than this. No, the yeah. German. The German place is. Well, it's like not just one restaurant. The place is huge. It's gigantic. You have the whole restaurant. You have a bar. You have a beer garden on the roof. You have a you have another upstairs seating. Area. I've been going to the Willow Tree for a while now. Yes, I've been and, there as well. And um, so it has changed a lot over the years because everybody loves it. So they took over the bookstore that was next door, and they built stuff upstairs, and they built a beer garden. So German to it's, yeah. but it is <laughs> it's very German. I will say it's I know okay. it's, it's expand all their borders. Stop it! Stop it! I will say it's the <laughs> furthest away from Disney. It is, That's it's but fun. it's about so. For those who are wondering, it's a great spot, and uh, Sanford is a great community in general. But it's about fifty-five minutes away from the Disney bubble. So that means if you've seen last week's episode, about ten minutes more yeah, than than going, going, going to, to Ellipsis Brewery. Yeah. No, it's. 20 minutes further than that. Oh, no, 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 no. 
It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a haul, but it's worth it. If you have time, yeah. especially... If it's you, probably 30 minutes further than a little If you fly into or out of the Sanford Airport, which some people do... No, oh, um, that's a different story. You've got to go to the Willow Tree. Downtown Sanford actually has a lot of cool places. I've heard Tiki Bars. Tiki Bars. Oh, Please. the Suffering Bastard. I have a video on my channel, but uh, we can't talk about it here because I might get in trouble because they don't like it here. But what does he say? Might he already gets in trouble? Uh, again, trouble every day. No, uh, no, but downtown Sanford, lot to do, and the Willow Tree is kind of like wonderful. We have a great kind of video like of all of us at the Suffering Master. If you just friggin' Google it, it's on um, my page. Um, but anyway, wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was like, I have the, the food is fantastic. The food uh, is the, great. Every time I'm there, the beer and the. Great beer selection. No, I think I think we can all agree that Sanford's a great town that we all love visiting, and that the Willow Tree might be the greatest the centerpiece centerpiece of Sanford. Yeah, yeah. it it is. I mean, the band, the people, the that band go- was good. Also, do you know that the band started at Epcot thirty something years ago, and that's how they got their start. So those two guys started at Epcot. They talk about it during their show. Is that they were at well, performance. one of them did, but they, they talked in German, so you probably didn't understand. Uh, I only picked up parts of it, but I know they started at Epcot. Am I wrong? One of them did. The one yeah. that he did. in the beginning. Yes. So you want to talk about it? He started at Epcot. Thanks for watching. Have the a great end. night. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but like it's not just mm-hmm. them singing doing the same thing. You have that at Alp horn, oh, yeah. the saw thing, violin, what is he doing? Yeah, it, and this is, I think, like what Epcot started as, is that what can we turn into a show is they transform German excitement and show, quote unquote, sure. what can you make show? Like, well, I think Epcot does a great job. I, I love going to the beer oh, garden the there. Bells. But this is, but this is a very um, more organic experience where there are people that are you know, there's not this big empty dance floor and a couple kids go up. I mean, there are just people randomly getting up and dancing. They're playing like modern music. Like, what's I don't, how do you describe it? They, they like, did like, uh, you know, like uh, Sweet Caroline, right? Which Caroline. apparently is a German thing, yeah. right? Absolutely. Sweet Caroline, ba, ba. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You had Marge and her friends that were there. Yeah. Love Marge and her friends. But I will say this felt very much so like when I went to Oktoberfest in Munich in Germany before uh, the pandemic, they also do American songs like that. Like it tears yeah, yeah, up yeah. the house. They yeah. do Sweet Caroline and everything else. They're playing like Axel had their some of their techno songs almost. That, yes. Oh, on the, the way home. The soundtrack on the way home. Was, yes. Uh, um, I do have to say, um, you might see the quality of video slightly going down the later of the day we come. That is because we actually do not order those beers to throw them away. We actually do drink them. We drink every beer we have. So, yeah, that's why from time to time you see a portrait mode video. Oh, wow. Is it funny Which... that you made fun of my portrait mode videos? We get a lot of that sequence was in portrait mode. Two scenes. Funny. Funny. No. Two scenes. Two I'm just saying, you make fun scenes. of me. You know, I'll I'll take the heat. I am here as the heel of this community. You guys can make fun of me. Axel's the greatest. You know what? You're the greatest, Eric. And then here I am. But you know what? He filmed in portrait mode. <laughs> to mix it up. Yeah, to mix it it up. Now, what else? Coming back to the real pavilions, we had Germany, UK. I was gonna go Mexico. Honestly, I had some Mexico things on the on the ballot. I love Mexico. I am the biggest advocate of Mexico in the entire world. I love Mexico so much, and I feel like Mexico has so much to offer. But I just thought at the time, like we were right next to. Margaritaville, and I feel like the islands were calling me. The islands were calling, so I wanted to go to the islands. So I need your help, guys. I'm I'm going outside the bubbles bubble. Outside the bubbles bubble. Yeah, I I like to mix it up. So let's say, let's do some voting, right? When, so, when I see the chat right now, I see a lot of Germany wins for sure. 
Axel wins, Germany wins. Do we want to do? Do we do we want to still go through? I, I mean, it's it's pretty obvious here. Well, let's call it next week because right, we also have to call last week's winners now. It wouldn't be the first time that Germany got out to an early lead only to lose. That's a great point. Uh, and More I know people you love... getting uncomfortable in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know what? Let's maybe do a little something for the islands. It's well, about time. Thank you, David. Model living the dream. Ten dollars. Wow. Really enjoying the show, guys. Thank you for all the entertainment. Thank you very much for that. Well, lovely super well, chat. As you all know, we announced winners the week after, so we appreciate all your votes. And no, all your... no, no, no. There's no, no. Look, look at the chat. No, it doesn't I matter. I only see Germany. Well, we're going to announce Germany. tonight is the winners of the breweries last week. Germany, all Germany. All right, we get it. There's some there's Germans enough German chat. flags in the chat to make me a little uncomfortable. Yeah, I'm very uncomfortable. <laughs> Keep them but coming. Honestly, the only, Thank you, like, the only time I like to <laughs> hang out with Germans is when I play Canasta on my local site. And if you want to play, I'll meet you anytime. Oh, there you and, go, John Fred Bailey, super chat. The islands have my yeah. Vote. There it is. <laughs> One vote for the islands. The islands, I feel like, really might be the the sleeper in this group. No, they're not. No, they're All right, well, we haven't really taken a break. Vote. We, we haven't we... taken a break or a vote. We should take a minute, talk about last week's winners, and then come back to this week's vote. All right. So, last week's winner, um, I asked the two gentlemen with the most experience. And thank you, John, in... friend, Billy, whoever you are out there. I may not know, but thank you. Um, I asked the two gentlemen who have the greatest connaissance of beer, to choose the best brewery name, you both got to choose one. I got to find it. I got um, go to Pete first. Pete, your brewery name that won the contest of last week's goodies. Let me just ask you a question before I put it out there. You asked us to make up a fake brewery name. No. You just pick one from the comments. The one you said this is a good name. Oh, you picked it. I'm not. I I'm between two, so I'm gonna ask him to go first. Well, here's the problem. There are three of them that were very similar. Yes. The SUP Sup Brewery stands for Shut Up Pete. Uh, hey, that was fun hippie. Hey, that. Uh, James Trainer said your brewery name should be Shut Up Pete. Pete is great, but it's just so easy to say. And Maggie said Shut Up Pete brews is next. So I think between the three of those, we can. You can choose one corner. winner. I'm going to go with Fun Hippie. Fun Hippie. S stands for Shut Up Pete. The Sup Brewery. Sup Brewery. Sup. So who is it? Say the name again. Fun Hippie. Fun Hippie. Write us an email at axel at www.nt.com to claim your price. By the way, I get a lot of emails. So everybody, your prices are on their way. They're better here in the distribution center or in the mailing center. I do take the time to read all the emails. We are, I am moving a whole office um, right now. so it, We are a bit behind on sending out the prices. I do read the emails. I print them. Uh, and we'll answer them at some point in a near future when Pete has decided who get his vote. I'm between a few. Pick I one. didn't realize I had to pick one tonight on the air. I thought we were... Oh, you're on the spot, Pete. <sighs> Well, nothing involving Shut Up Pete will be a winner. So sorry about that because you know what? I don't like that. I don't want being told Shut Up Pete. I don't like it at all. It's not my style. It's not me. Uh, but I'll tell you this. Sorry. If you're a red knight, you can do so. I am between the Distinguished Gentleman's Brewery. I feel we are distinguished. We're gentlemen. We're having a good time. Uh, two Men and a Baby didn't make a lot of sense to me, so I ruled that out. Uh, so I will tell you, hold on, let's make sure I, I'm picking the right one. Three hours later. Three. Yeah, I already know, so I just want to make sure I don't. Look at that. Axel will choose the winner now. <laughs> it's Axel's turn if you want. Uh, if you want one, you can pick one, but I. A lot of the shut up Pete's, but I don't like that. Yeah, I'm between these two, and I just. I guess I want it to be these two. Is that uh, the Distinguished Gentleman Brewery? Because I think Shadow Peach is a little overplayed out. 
Uh, no one wants to build a brewery around that. Uh, you never want to build something hey, on the one. Hurry up! It's past my bedtime. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's past Jason. Jason is here. Jason. Jason, Jason is here. Jason viewing. I'm here. Jason, the camera is right there. There you go. There he is. Hey, Jason is here. Hurry up! It's past my bedtime. All right, I'm gonna go with either. Pick one. I'm giving you the count of five, and I'm choosing one. Fine. Five. I'm between four, three happy three, chappies or two, one. Choose now or I choose one. Parks, barks, and pipes. Billy Batson, 22. That was my choice as well. Congratulations. You are Congratulations. the winner with parks, barks, and pints. Billy Batson, 22. Same thing. Just write us an email at axel at www.nt.com to claim your prize. Now, before we all go, we want to hear from the chat. What was your favorite outside the bubble pavilion? Let us know in the chat right now. No. Oh, uh, are we doing it now? I thought you were, we're not doing the comments. Like no, the we're doing it now in, in the chat. We'll Let's do it hear live. it. What was the pavilion you liked the most? Where would you go if you had the chance to do so? Let's see, David, Germany, Hillary, Germany. Courtney, Germany, Chief Leaf, David. Thank you, guys. James, Germany. His last name is Germany. It's just, it's just so much. Hunter Greg, Castaway. Yeah, Deutschland. The island of Germany, even better. It's, I'm sorry. Like the, It's kind of a landslide. Well, no, no, we have, we have one place. Uh, we have one... Um, one viewer, Mickey uh, F01, the UK. Somebody votes for CeCe's. Can we just say thank you? Thank you. You won. Oh, there you go. Andrew C. We didn't even see that. Go uh, Bruins. My vote is for Germany. Sorry, Pete. No Islanders vote for me. Thank you very much. Andrew, you made a great choice. I already agree. You won. It's a great. It's a great pick. It I was, voted for Germany, a, and I, I mean, it yeah. was it was great. It's like last week. I chose Eric's Brewery because they had a great beer. So everybody's. I had a great dance at the Germany. Uh, he he yeah. absolutely. Pete did. picked up a woman, literally. Uh, literally, I picked up a woman. If more you want to see back down gently, if you want to see more of Pete dancing. At the German restaurant, be sure to stay tuned for the Wigs post show. Wigs members, go to your mind.wwnt. And that was it already. Another episode. Another great episode. And uh, let's just say, gentlemen, we're over the hump, but I think we're only getting stronger. So I just want to say, um, our audience, we really appreciate you guys. But you have to definitely make sure you hit the like and subscribe and the bell because we have some pretty intense episodes coming up get some good stuff uh, cooking i wouldn't wear a uk t-shirt but if i wanted to buy a cool design t-shirt eric where do i have to go to why i'm glad you asked axel uh the carousel of products.com uh the best products in the world t-shirts magnets the world. pins hats maybe still a lot of t-shirts check it out CarouselOfProducts.com. We have all kinds of creative merchandise, and we'll be launching a new merchandise on the reg. Um, thank you for all the people who voted for Germany. I feel a new T-shirt design coming. Germany, where I picked up my wife. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe we'll hold off on that. But next week, you don't want to miss because we're going somewhere very special. And uh, uh, let's just say it's going to – I don't know. You can really take us back. Tune in next week. Tune in next week. It's gonna it's gonna be fun. We um we got a call earlier this week about next week's episode. It could be very interesting. And Eric bought a black light. I did. You'll have to tune in next week. Thank you all for watching this episode of Outside the Bubble. We have four more episodes for you. Our last one will be on July 1st before WWNT News Tonight comes back. 
on July 8th from a brand new studio. If you want to join that audience, go check out www.nt.com because you can buy tickets. You can, yes. Sure. Not yet, but soon. Not yet. And I hear Jason say, you know. will be able to win tickets for that first episode on our last episode. Hey! hey! Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all next week. Same bad time, same bad channel. Peace and love, baby. Have a good night. See you Oh, we have a post show? I'm out of here. <laughs>